question for you. Do you think Atlantis could be real? It remains as one of history's greatest mysteries. The legend began with Plato all the way back in ancient Greece, the tale of a civilization that formed and prospered before our own. Atlantis was supposedly a highly technological society, much like the Mayans. But, as the legend says, due to the people's greed, they were punished by a flood that destroyed and submerged their cities. Different theories try to guess Atlantis' location. Some say it was in the Mediterranean Sea. Some say it's beneath the Bermuda Triangle. But, as science has shown us, Atlantis may be only an allegory for humankind. Today, you'll discover several amazing underwater cities that you have never heard of. They existed indeed and are not just a myth. We're taking you on an excursion to the underwater city of Baia, which is on the coast of Italy. Known as the Las Vegas of the Roman Empire, Baia was a resort city. The Roman elite traveled there for recreation. Imagine an open-air spa. That was Baia. You can visit the submerged town by scuba diving and get close to that perfectly preserved, magnificent Roman sculpture. A true underwater wonder. You can spot the crumbled temples and buildings through glass-bottom boats. This is a moss-covered museum in Claudio's Nymphium. To your left, you can see a collection of classical Greek statues. Swimming down the Via Herculiana, you'll arrive at Villa Aprotio. Villas are Italian-style houses, and here, you can admire their original marble floors. Notice the black and white patterns and the astounding shapes they make. Next, you'll arrive at Portus Julius. Can you see the collapsing wall structures at the bottom of the seafloor? You'll see well-preserved columns and limestone floors. Behold the ruins of the thermal baths of Lacus. The remaining multicolored mosaics are something great to see. You'll see their orange, blue, and green tiles if you get close enough. At Pisoni's Villa Pila, you'll see 25 preserved Roman pillars. Notice the arches, the frescoes nearby, and the magnitude of this well-kept treasure. The city was located over natural volcanic vents, so there were hot springs to be used at will. People went there looking to have an excellent time. And when I say people, I mean some of the great Roman emperors we learn about in school. Nero, Cicero, Caesar. But around the 8th century, the city was sacked and the luxurious town was abandoned. Slowly, the water level rose and the city started to drown. You are on a summer vacation off the coast of Greece, four hours outside of Athens in the Peloponnese Peninsula on Pavlo Petri. You dust off your snorkel and head for a free dive on a bright sunny day. Some time into the dive, you start noticing patterns on the seabed. 13 feet below the surface, the outline of familiar objects starts to appear, one by one. As you continue swimming, what looks like the outline of an entire city emerges before your eyes. You wonder how could water have taken the whole city? Rocks are perfectly aligned into what appears to be the foundation of a building. Nicholas Fleming, a British oceanographer on vacation in Greece, was the person that discovered Pavlo Petri. He was documenting the seafloor artifacts. The team found the site filled with pots, storage vessels, and tools. A quern stone, for instance, is a tool used for grinding grains and turning them into flour. Multiple amphoras, which were found then, indicate that this settlement dated back to the Bronze Age, 5,500 years ago, when people started living in towns. The settlement is believed to have lasted for over 2,400 years. Pablo Petri is considered today the oldest submerged town yet found. And it's impressive that it wasn't a simple village. It was a vibrant port city, with stone-built buildings, a marketplace, streets, and even squares. Let's continue our exploration and find secrets in other underwater cities. You are diving off the coast of the Ryukyu Islands. Pacific waters are far from smooth. There's a strong current pulling you into the deep sea. Suddenly, you see a huge structure thanks to the sunlight shining down on the seabed. At first, it looks like Machu Picchu's ruins across the globe in Peru. As you approach it, you slowly figure out its form. A pyramid-shaped structure, arches, staircases. It's something that could have easily been a palace or castle. Could this also be a sign of human activity? What you just saw is known today as the Yanaguni Monument. It also goes by the name of Japan's Atlantis. 
The entire monument is about the size of five football fields and the height of a five-story building. Its most surprising feature is its expansive terraces that host large crowd gatherings. Explorers and scientists believe that Yanaguni dates back to 10,000 years ago. But whether it is a man-made structure or a natural formation is still under debate. For Japan's top marine geologist, Professor Masaki Kimura, Yanaguni is the heritage of a lost civilization. Kimura has dived into exploring the ruins over 100 times over the past 10 years. According to him, there are clear signs of human activity down there. The Triangle Pool, located on the monument's surface, is a triangle-shaped concave that is a historical symbol of water fountains in the region. There is also a giant turtle carved on the eastern side of the structure. And according to Kimura, turtles have an important cultural meaning. Several pieces of stone tools have been recovered from the site. Their estimated age dates back to 10,000 years ago. However, not all scientists are convinced of the same. For many, Yanaguni is the result of thousands of years of erosion. The fact that the monument is composed of one massive rock leads them to believe that it is not human-made. The defined edges and flat surfaces resemble a natural formation occurrence in Northern Ireland, known as Giant's Causeway. A series of interlocking basalt columns look like the ruins of a palace, but they were the result of volcanic activity in the region. Well, stay tuned for more underwater discoveries. The next stop in our voyage is one of today's most famous underwater cities that has turned into an underwater archaeological park. The city of Port Royal in Jamaica exists today only below the surface. But in 1692, it was one of the wealthiest cities in the Western Hemisphere. Port Royal was the center of the British Empire at the time, and an important trade city that attracted people from all over. It was also home to real-life pirates of the Caribbean. On the morning of June 7, 1692, the people of Port Royal met a different fate than they probably expected. The bars and restaurants beaming with life woke up shaking. People were taken out of bed with the power of a massive earthquake, estimated today at 7.5 on the Richter scale. One survivor says he saw the earth opening up and swallowing the town hall. What he said could be true, as the city was mainly built over sand. The ground sucked buildings, roads, and everyone above. Geysers erupted, and finally, waves as big as 10-story high buildings hit the city. About 33 acres of the city disappeared underwater, and amazingly, most of its 17th century remains lie in good condition under 40 feet of water. In the ruins, archaeologists have found taverns, storage rooms, kitchens, and recreational buildings used for diverse purposes. You can see a grand lion statue, a submerged bridge, and many picturesque arches. Now, do you fancy a trip to India? Just outside its coast lies another sunken marvel. A site known as the Lost City of Cambay is located on the gulf of a similar name. It remained hidden until 2001, when the National Institute of Ocean Technology did a routine water assessment. With sonar technology, which sends a wave of sound to the bottom of the sea, they found something far beneath the surface. Images showed well-defined geometric shapes spread along a 5-mile stretch. The remains found dated to more than 9,500 years ago, meaning that this civilization was lost at around the end of the Ice Age. Debris recovered from the site included construction material, pottery, beads, sculptures, and even bones. Scientists argue whether these artifacts are indeed from the site. But if they truly are, then the lost city of Cambay would be the oldest civilization in the world. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.